everybody, AZ80s Girl here with you, and today we are talking about Sweet Secrets um, toys. Um, and these were the original Sweet Secret Secrets that were made by Galoob um, in 84. So mine were originally, most of them are all dated 84 that I mainly have. And then they still made um, them 85 into the mid 90s uh, with some changes to some of the dolls, the, to uh, the animals, and, and so on. So basically the Sweet Secrets line were little lockets that were transformed into dolls or animals. Um, they all look like a shape like that. Um, there were three uh, girl dolls um, and they were Flashy, which had purple hair, Gleamy, who had red hair, and Shiny, who had yellow hair. And I'll go into each of those. Uh, they all had a different type of color of the locket itself. The girls had either uh, a different color uh, wrapped around the actual symbol, and then the symbol itself was usually a uh, diamond, a heart, a uh, circular type flower pattern, something like that. Uh, the animals only just have one solid color, which I have here, um, and this is actually the mouse, Mac the Mouse. So I will go over them in two. And yes, I have a Jake Ryan shirt on, if you can't tell. I don't think I have any normal clothes in my closet, honestly. I consider this normal. So um, we're going to go into that. Um, Galoob dolls and play sets were released, and then Blue Box took over and did some of those as well later um, in the 90s. Uh, 2007, Play Along Toys did some, um, released some. Uh, not a big hit that I know of, but they could be. They were basically purses and or lipsticks or something like that that... They still transform, but they totally look different. Not at all looks like this. So I will go into the lockets from the 80s, and we should have fun. This is going to be a long segment. That's why it's all about sweet secrets. Um, I'll show you how they transform the ones I have, and you just go from there. So, okay, so you'll see some on eBay that are different colors um, of the same type exact thing. So that's just different re releases. Um, from different years and then there's some that are like again different colors There's actually the house uh, itself the jewelry case house that was different colors as well um, There's also a, some of the line that has uh, a pink card um, If it's brand new, it'll be on a pink card saying uh, Dolce Segreti and that's uh, the Italian version of the line of toys as well. So there's a lot out there uh, every single, um, in the first series, there were three dolls in the first, six animals, and I think they added another one. Uh, the second series, there was six, uh, and then six animals, and the third series was a whole t line of different uh, colors and things like that. Now, all the girls themselves had rosy cheeks, so I'm going to show you one of them. They had rosy cheeks for the dolls. Um, again, so when you transform these, there's the locket, you open it up. Find a little like a little attachment on the side. The hands for the girls are inside the, the front piece that you just flip open. Their feet are folded in, you flip those out, and then the head's folded in with hair. You just flip her out, and there's her little pigtails uh, that are braided with pink bows. Now, this is Flashy, and Flashy has uh, rosy cheeks and she has like purple, almost light lavender eyes. Uh, to kind of match the rest of her. So that's flashy. And then I'll make comparisons of the other ones I have. And then the back of them has a little, it is stamped Galoob, Sweet Secrets Galoob, 1984. But that back of them has this little clip so they can clip onto some things. Now when you bought a Sweet Secrets a doll or animal, you basically got a necklace that came with it that I'm wearing here. A necklace, a stretchy wrist, a wristband here that's just stretchy that you can clip on that says Sweet Secrets or a hair clip, okay? So this is the hair clip that would just clip into your hair and clip onto the actual uh, gem. So I will show you my um, one I had as a kid. This wasn't the actual one because I loved Mac the Mouse when I was a child. I played with him so much I'm sure he was just broken to pieces or worn off. So I'm wearing the necklace that it came with. Um, it's one of those adjustable uh, things right here. It's just a little bit of a stretch to it. it has a little, um, it's just plastic at the top there. It's a little heart and it clips into the top of the actual lock, not the back. So you just kind of push those together. 
on. I'm right-handed, so. And then you would take it off. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. Now to, um, I'm going to leave them in there for now. Now to get them on the actual thing for your hair, you would actually slide this into the back of the clip. Um, and you can either squeeze it together and, and then it'll snap in place. So there you go. And it's, it's kind of huge and heavy, but can you imagine as a kid wearing this around on your hair? It's really heavy. It'd be like really lopsided. So I probably could wear this around today and see if I got any comments. <laughs> Pretty sweet. It's probably back in style. I don't know. I keep seeing these things that are back in style these days. I think it's all cyclical, you know? Just hold on to your 80s and 90s stuff and then bring it out of the closet and wear it one day and you're totally in fashion all of a sudden. Great. So anyway, this is Mac the Mouse. I'm going to um, take this off and I will open him up and show you him. Alright, so Mac the Mouse, again, there's like a little clip on the side that you kind of just open. It's not a great, you know, it's not held together greatly. You open him up. Now everything is inside the one case versus any type of hands or feet on the other side. So you pull out his head and then hands and feet, flip them open, and there you go. And then you just shut it back up. So here's Mac the Mouse, okay? And then his ears, his ears actually come up. So I think a lot of, some of the animals, I only have him and a, a horse, which I'll show you. Um, there, some of the ears do flop up because, you know, they stick out. So there's Mac the Mouse. And I'll show you the horse. So I'm going to list off some of the items that they had. So they had um, quite a few animals. I have some notes here, so sorry. So the originals were Mac the Mouse. They had uh, Cami Koala, Cat Trinas, which is a cat, uh, Pinky Panda, Pretty Puppy, Tutu Toucan, and Star Jumper Pony here. So this is the actual horse. So it's a star, and then he's got a clip too in the back, and he opens up at the top versus opening totally outside. So his opens right here. Get him up front, you know. It's kind of difficult to get, I don't, I think his thing, there we go. Oh, it's a girl, sorry, it's a girl. So you have flipped the girl horse with the, the face and the little hair. It's blonde, I could tell it's a girl because it has a little bow in the hair, if you can see. And there's the tail. So that is the Star Jumper horse, okay? So that's Star Jumper and that's Mac the Mouse. So Mac the Mouse, okay, so I'm just going to, I've seen on eBay recently that there's different versions of Mac the Mouse now, and the dolls too, um, in regards to the actual case uh, color. So if the case color is a shiny blue, now he had looked exactly the same, but his case was like a shimmery, shiny blue. If you see that, that's still Sweet Secrets, but it's a different line of the accessories that came out. It was part of the jewelry line, which was the Beauty Bows. And those came out in about 88, and there were about eight of those of dolls and the animals. So so they had a shimmery and some you know, variations to them. They'll show the locket in the picture, which I've seen like two on eBay right now, brand new on card. Uh, it's a shiny, shimmery locket, and it goes in the center of like a, sa a giant satin bow that might have lace. But there are big satin bows, and those will set right in the middle of the actual bow for you to wear. So those are the beauty bows, Okay. Let's see what else we can go into here before. So um, going into more, they also made, let's see, three dolls. Okay, so they had a diamond heart circular pattern. That could be purple, blue, pink, uh, off like a lilac color. There's red and gold. There's a lot of different variations um, of even the play sets themselves. And I'll get into some of the play sets here in a second. So along with these, all these different kinds of toys, large sets, uh, large uh, mini play sets, small and all that. They made um, different lockets later on that had makeup in them. There were some that were jewelry, charms, smaller charms, and then they had pens and friends, which I'll go into. And then they also did like a plush line called the Purse Pails. I don't have any of those, but the, it's an actual plush purse that you could wear that looks like a purse, and then it'll transform into either a doll or one of the animals. So it's pretty cute and it's pretty big, you know, it's an actual, you can wear it as a kid, as a purse and such like that, or you can wear it now if you want. So I will go into the um, Pens and Friends first. So the Pens and Friends, there were a, a set of three of those, and I have two here. 
And let me see what these are dated. I think these are dated 84, 85. So I had, it has two dates on them. So they brought 80, 45. So I'll go with the first one here. This is, okay, so they had Be Right Bear, as in W-R-I-T-E, right. Be Right Bear, Do Right Dog, and Let's Write Kitty. Now, I don't have Let's Write Kitty. That's the cats. So I will go over Do Right Dog. <clears throat> and Do Right Dog, here is the pens and prints. Now, it is an actual pen that came with a tab, a clip tab here, and paper. There's still the paper still on there. And it says Sweet Secrets all over the place here, so you know it's that. Um, inside is a little play set, okay? So when you open it up at the bottom, I'm probably missing a few things, but let me just open it up for you. There is, he's got a little window here, and teddy bear. So it's pretty much the dog's bedroom with the window, and here's a little teddy bear that he can lay with. So here's, and it's a lamp, and possibly I might be missing one other thing. I am not sure, but I'm pretty sure most of it's here. And then the dog just stays right open. So that's, this is the pen. It's a working pen. You just push the button in and, and it pops out the pen at the end. Okay, so it actually does work. If I can push it back in, there we go. And then you just pretty much just pull it off the top and, and turn it over. So there's the dog itself. And that, again, do right dog. You open up his hands, stick him back on top, and then you open up his feet. Okay, and then he can stand with his little you can play with him or you can stand him up next to his little play set, okay? So that is Do Right Dog. And then I have Be Right Bear. Again, this is a pretty similar version of the pen and Pens and Friends. And it's pink, so you just detach them from the little clip. Again, it's a still the paper tab and everything. Open this one up. And they got you know, loose items in here. Now this looks like it's more of like a little... The living room or something like that he's got a tv or she's got a tv it's couch a lamp and a little desk right there see the lamp sticking out you can pull back in <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> again this is the pen um right there with the little gem on it and then you flip it upside down <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> excuse me it's a little allergy and there's, you open up the hands and then the feet were the, they're all pretty similar the same way that they work. Okay, so you can just flip it around. Actually flip him around that way and stand him up like that. So that's the pens and friends that I have. Now I'm gonna actually move into the actual smaller sets that I have, small play sets that they released. Uh, let's see, so this, the smaller ones that I have here, they had, um, they have different releases and different colors on these. So if you see them online that look totally different than mine, it's a different release or if it's from Italy or something like that because it does have different colors and such. So there's the brush car, that um, a comb bed, and mirror vanity set. Now I don't have the mirror vanity set, but I do have the comb bed, the brush car. <clears throat> um, the mirror vanity set was actually a handheld mirror that you could look in the mirror. Um, and then it, all of them came with one little doll, one of the dolls, either shiny, flashy, or, or, or gleamy. And that would transfer, transform into a uh, vanity set for the actual doll that came with little pieces. It came with like a little comb and hair dryer, and it was an actual mirror for her, like a vanity. So, okay, I am missing one piece to my brush. Now, here's the brush. And I already transformed flashy. So, flashy actually sat... Uh, was connected inside here when she was closed up. So this is an actual, can be used as a brush, and I was missing one piece at the end that would keep it closed. Okay, so sorry about that. So it actually is a real brush. It has real bristles that you can use, if you can see. So, and then this would attach to be a brush. Now you would take that off, you transform flashy, and all this does is you just flip it right over. Okay, flip it right over, pop up that, pop up the seat, okay? You would stick that one thing on the back just for an extra tire and then you would take these apart okay take them all apart mine are a little discolored just from age and then you would stick them in on each side for the wheels okay so there's the car brush and transforms into a car and then she, her feet just pretty much just stay in there okay so that is her. So I don't know if she comes with it. I'm not, 
I have not researched on who goes with what. I'm just showing you how they look in the vehicle or whatever. So I have, a, you know, several. I have not looked up, you know, who comes with what. So that's flashy in this one. Luckily, it looks like she's already been going really fast. Her hair is sticking straight back. So maybe she's been going 100 miles an hour. <laughs> you never know. So that's her. Okay, so we're going to move on to the comb in the bed. Okay, so here's the comb in the bed. It's a real comb again. I mean, it's huge. But yeah, you can use it as a comb. And the, the, stone, the gem's actually in there. The doll's actually still in there. Now you just take her off. But you can see the little indents where the back fits in there. Now there's a line of the babies that are a lot smaller than this. Not a lot. They're smaller than this that will not fit. So you can tell, and I'll show you the differences, they won't fit. So you need to make sure there's those little indents so some of them don't fit in here, you know, to attach, okay? So let's transform this one. I'm gonna transform this one in here. I'll open her up. Her hands again are inside the front part. And it's another flashy because she's got purple hair. Take out her head, feet, there we go. And there she is, there's flashy here. And again, she's just pretty much the same. It's just a different She's got rosy cheeks. She's got the bows in her hair. So they said the first series mainly have. And then as they went into the other series, they don't have the rosy cheeks anymore. And they don't have bows in their hair. But I like the originals. See, but they're different colors and shapes on their stomachs. Okay. All right. So I'm going to set her down and take the comb apart. Now you just wiggle the comb section off like that to two pieces. You would open this one here. Just opens again. There, there should be easy open. And there's a little slot thing that should come down. So you just push this thing down at the bottom. And that it looks like the bed. So you're setting up the bed. And this would be the head, the headboard. Okay, so you just you see this side has little indent notches for it to stick in. So you take the front and you just stick it in here. And shove it in. So they stick it together and you made this little bed. So the headboard and the bed. And you stick her inside. And she's all set to go to sleep. Okay? So those are those two. Now, um, that's the smaller play sets. And they had uh, fashion play sets, which um, I only have one of. They had the hair dryer set, which it was it looked like a hair dryer. And I'm seeing, watching it on eBay actually right now. But um, some, place, some things miss little tiny pieces. I mean, there's just no way to get, all, you know, get them all unless you get them brand new in the box. Um, the hair dryer turned into a patio set. And the patio set... The small, the thing of the hair dryer actually popped up and it was like an umbrella. It came with um, table, like a lounge chair and the, and the other side opened up to have like a barbecue grill. And it actually came with some plates and silverware, I think. But, you know, that's really, you know, I don't have that one to show you. Sorry. And then they have a play park set, um, which, which is a purse. Uh, and then it opens up and transforms into some park with a horse and all that type of thing. So that's a pretty cool one to find. And then I have the picture frame one here to show you. Um, picture frame that turns into a swimming pool. So I don't know who this person is, but this is what came with the actual per picture with the toy itself. You could probably change it out. I think there's little notches where you could change it out. But, you know, you know, she's looking cool. She's looking 80s. She's got her sweet secrets on. She's holding her gloves and her little nice little hat. Um, this is, uh, again, the, the, the doll that it came with or not, you know, it's one of the dolls that can fit in there and it's attached. This is the stand it stands up on. Okay. So to transform, this one's actually really easy. You know, let's just take this off first and I'll show you who's hiding inside here. Transform that. Sorry. Again, this is a long one. So please bear with me. I've got a lot to go over. Sweet secrets. I have a lot and they just did a lot of information, have a lot of information. So this one is actually shiny, so shiny again. She's got the rosy cheeks and she's got blonde hair and her bows are in her hair. Uh, she's blue with a like a purple flower around her red center, okay? Now to transform this into a pool, again, not, not hard at all. You just attach the back. It's already a stick, you know, the slide itself. And you just flip it to the other side, which is a cardboard pool here. Um, they want you to turn these this way so it's just standing up a little more, I guess, for the pool part of it. So there's little knobby things to turn. So it just would be standing up. Um, you flip this portion over here. There we go. So 
So it's like a little shower right here. You flip this here, which is just becomes her towel to lay out on. And then you would attach the slide. And I always forget how to do this. So you just do it to the side here. There we go. Okay. So she slides in there. And that is the pool. So you walk her up the steps and slide in the cardboard pool. Yay. She probably got a lot of paper cuts. Haha, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so that is the picture frame swimming pool. Now going into the larger play sets, um, I have I have one, but the other ones are pretty cool and I don't have those. They're just kind of hard to find or really expensive. So they had a Beauty Tunes um, that was a boom box shape. So it looks like a boom box. Um, it's a real AM FM radio if you will, you know, when you want to check that out. And that becomes a beauty salon and it still comes with one of the dolls. There's a workout time, one's called workout time, and it looks like a little house, but it's a digital clock, but it looks like a little house, and it opens up to become a workout club um, with like barbells and stuff like that and accessories for the doll to work out. It's pretty cool. And then the jewelry box dollhouse I have here, and again, there's some different slight versions of colors out there, so I'll show you this one. Now this one, um, you'll have to bear with me because it is a little tricky to get it uh, in intact so you got to be really careful with these because these things can break snap at this age you know along with the rest of us who are my age or older <laughs> so the dollhouse um has it can be it's a jewelry box itself for little girls so you can use this uh there's drawers here to hold your jewelry and there's but there's no really any mirror so it's just like a jewelry box that holds your stuff now mine has extra little clips and barrettes for the rest of the dolls inside that drawer and this drawer is holding some of the furniture. So I'm gonna grab the furniture out that's for the inside. This is just a fake, there's no extra drawers, it's a fake one, okay? So I'm gonna show you what's going on inside. This um, comes with one of the dolls that attaches to the front. So it'll have one of the dolls attached to the front and that's what it came with along with all of the furniture accessories, okay? So I'll transform this doll for you. And this is um, Gleamy, who has the red hair, okay? I only have one of her. So let's transform Gleamy. The feet are last on these. You always gotta figure out which way is best, but it's usually the heads first and then the feet are last to fit just right. All right, so Gleamy's a little fuzzed out hair, but she's got red hair, the rosy cheeks, yellow bows in her. And she's like a lilac color again, um, like a pale lilac with a blue around her and about a reddish maroon magenta diamond shape okay and she's got brown eyes okay so there's different versions i've seen in second series that will have they they will have different colors for the dolls um blue box also came out with different names and different dolls so you know they they change them from there like dazzle starbeam shimmer glitter mist stuff like that and then the third series they had um more dolls that looked a lot more different and then they and animals and they put weird squiggle patterns on them, which I'll just show you real quick here, uh, different squiggly patterns. So if you'll see those, those are just, again, third series or more for those. And they, I'll go into that one here in a second. So again, okay, so this is the jewelry house, the large play set that I've seen, the largest probably. Um, you open this up here at the top, okay, and then press that down. So there's a little, this is all plastic. It's already on there, it's already taped. Uh, there's like an upstairs little loft for the dolls. Now I'm going to take this table out so it doesn't fall out. But there's actually space here to attach three more of the dolls or, or animals here. Okay, so I attached three more and we'll open those up as well. I'll take those each out so I can show you. Okay, so there's the, sp Ooh, the, door just dropped it. There's the space there. Okay, so... Now this, I will show you, there's a lot to this, which is cool. So you push this button here on the side to release the house to open up. Oh, sorry, first of all, you open that to and push the button to bring it up to the stories high here. And then it'll just snap in place, okay? So that's part of this, it's, it's starting to open up for you, okay? So there's a couple stories. And then you pull this down to reveal their like nice little patio and their mail man their mail box, their little window here. It's all stickers. And then this opens up as well. Let's see. You detach the little hooks that are inside. You push them through. Okay. 
and down and it becomes a swing. So they have a little swing right here. This is up again here and then there's another piece to the side here. So you pull this up and clip some place. So that's a cool little balcony that they can plan. So there's a lot to this. One other thing, you open this up since, and then there's another window there that you can leave open. You fold this down inside and it's actually a set of stairs. Look at that. I mean, they thought of everything. This was actually really cool. So it's a pretty cool play set to have, you know, for any doll. So I will show you a few things here. So they came with, I don't have all the accessories that it came with, but it has a table with some um, dishes on it, just sticker. Um, I have some chairs, you've got the TV, little TV stand, I think. Uh, I think I'm missing the, like the stove, uh, you know, dishwasher sink area that I should get, and maybe like some utensils or something, you know, some plates or something like that. So you can set up as you want. The bed is up here and it's already part of it, it's attached, um, and everything else is pretty much attached to it. You know, the stickers can be curling after a while, you know, from folding in and out so many dang times. But that happens. So there's that. I will change these out now. Okay, so here's all the different ones I have here, and I'll show you some comparisons of the dolls I have. So this is a pink one with a yellow flower with a red center. Open it up. So hopefully she's not sticking. Their hair wear, you know, gets stuck sometimes. Their hands got to be really gentle. Like I said, they can crack and break off. The feet are in first, so flip out the feet and then the head. And the head. There we go. So I got another flashy here. So here's flashy. Let's do the next one. Bear with me. You guys are doing great. I know this is a long one, but it's a lot to go over. And there's another flashy one I have here. Okay. You guys going to be pros at being able to turn these out, man. Pop them out. And there's flashy with the feet. And then the last one, I think I have another shiny. And then I can compare all the ones I have with shiny. Now, again, be really careful. Some of these just get, there we go, slightly stuck. Okay. Feet, head. All right. Again, it's the real hair. So, okay, here's that, my flashies. And I will, and shinies, I'm sorry, shinies and flashies and one gleamy. Again, I have one gleamy and then I have, let's see, I need two, two shinies? No, three. I got three shinies, okay? So three shinies. There's a pink one. And these, again, these are different, different shapes on them. They're, these are shinies and then I have three of the gleamies. So these are different as well. And now they are all different. One's got a heart center, one's got a flower, or you know, circulars and stuff, and so on and so on. So I like having different ones, you know, so we don't have the exact same. All right, so those are the play sets. Now I'm just gonna put this back, show you how to do it real quick. Let's move this out of the way. Now let's put it back in, fold it up, shut that, put that down. There's a little button on the side here, on right here. Let's fold it down, so don't just push it down. You just push now with oh, I'll just show you real quick with the swing um, since with these clips um, and the way they are they're easily to fall over on everything that they have so a lot of the things have little notches in them like the swing does that will clip inside her bat the, ba the clip itself so she'll stick to the swing let's see if I can do it there we go close enough there she goes and she can swing we <laughs> so she's swinging okay so that's the only way it's going to stay. You just clip it into the back of the clip, okay? So we'll push that back in there. So you'll just slide it back in. All right. Here, I'll move this to the side. So you can see here. I can see. So it looks like little ski poles that you just clip inside. Look, top there. And then you just clip it on the side, right? Put that up. Let's push the button. Now you push the button again to get it released. Let's wiggle it down, okay? Close it up. And then again, you put them inside, fold it up, okay? And then you put your furniture wherever it needs to be. I'm gonna stick the table inside and then my furniture fit. I'm right there, okay? So that is that play sets there. So, okay, going into whatever else I have here. So 
They have different ones there, different versions. I'm going to go into the babies now. So the babies that they came out with were called the um, six, they had six locket by babies and they had no names. So I have a few to show you here. And, and then we can go on to a couple more things and then we're done. Okay, I know it's a long one, but bear with me. Lots of stuff here. So, okay, so they're the Lock It By Baby. So now I have three and I'm missing one baby. Now they have one called Going Strolling and that's a stroller, right? Okay, so it's just a locket like that. It still has the wheels. Um, I think you can transform that something. I think. I guess you could stick it inside. There we go. Okay, so it's supposed to look like that little locket and then the baby would be sitting in there. I have a couple different colors or just two of the blue. That's what I have. So either blue one, pink one, yellow, you know, there's a lot of different versions. So this is the one locket. They're all square and the, the actual babies are smaller than the dolls as I was saying. So the, the, they're really small and they're thin. Okay. <clears throat> and so they'll fit only to the baby stuff. Okay. That's the only way they'll fit. So you open the locket up for the stroller just did it. <laughs> there we go. So it just opens up. You take the wheels and fold it over, clip it to the side, clip the wheels to the side, and there's little handles that are sticking in the back that you just turn out. Okay? So you set it down. Let's and then we'll open up one of the babies, okay? Now all the babies are look pretty much the same. They, again, it's just the color may be different, maybe their hair. They're all their bodies inside the one side. So their hair inside not over here. And they don't have hair so it's just a painted little one little painted piece of hair under her head and it's kind of got it's got a bow on it okay so she would just sit in there and there is a clip in there as well that you can clip her to so she will stay put uh, the other one I have is the let's see swing me swing okay so here's the little locket again it's like a little locket thing that you would detach okay so it just comes apart now, mine possibly looks like, you know, the string probably popped a few times and they had to retie it a few times, but, you know, that happens. You just pop those in place, straighten them out. There's a little seat, again, that they lock it. You put the back of the locket stick into that or she'll, the baby will just fall right out. You unhook these things to the top, fold them over. Yeah, this is like Transformers I'm doing here, right? These are much better. And then you would just set it straight on the table. And then they would swing. Make sure that lock, there we go. Let's lock in place and then she would swing on, on that. Okay. I don't have the Night Night Baby bassinet, which is a little rocking bassinet. And I don't have the high chair. So it was like a little high chair it turned into. I do have this one. There's a little baby attached to this other one. And this one is actually called Play With Me Playpen. Looks like that. It's got a little heart on it. It opens up. You fold this out. And then you just open up the little crib parts. Okay? And you close it back up. And they all clip inside the actual case. And it makes a little playpen. And I'll open this baby up. And I guess these are both, I think, the same baby. So let's see. And then they actually had a rocking horse uh, where the pony ride rocking horse where they would sit and you'll, it'll be a, a round horse. You can open it up and you can actually rock on it. The baby can rock on it. Okay. And the baby would just go in there. So the last thing that they had that was really huge for the babies was the twin nursery. So if you see this one set that looks like a giant, a big telephone, uh, it's a long telephone with the handle and it has two twin, two twin babies, gems. That was called the Twin Nursery Playphone. Uh, you would open it up and it would be the nursery for the twins to play in and sleep in and stuff like that. It's like a little nursery and it looks like a phone. doesn't work as a real phone, but you can just play with it. So I think the last couple of things I wanted to go over is just a couple other things that they did come out with. So they had beauty bows, the beauty bracelets. Um, they also had switch watches, which they used, they had about 86 animals, uh, 1986, I'm sorry. They had six of those animals and dolls that actually uh, had a stretch band, might have been a little thicker than that, that they would have clipped to, and they were actual watches, digital watches. And then, let's see, the ones that they also had were called dangles, but I'm going to go show you real quick before I go into those, the makeup ones. Now, I was going showing you this, that they also did a makeup line 
where they released uh, eyeshadow, blush, lips, gloss, and colognes. So there's some that have cologne on them. This is a cat. Uh, I forget her name, but there's a little mirror inside. And you open it up, and this has some eyeshadow or blush. I don't know. I can't totally tell. And then it will fold down a little more so you can put the cat's hands and feet and stuff inside. And this was different than having the feet down here. So they just sat up uh, with the, the makeup in them. Okay, so this is the cat with the makeup. They also had, let's see, the Stationery Charms play sets. Uh, and this is actually dated uh, 88. So this is a little bit later. As you can see, the doll's totally different. She's really boxy, skinny, and has rubber shoes. Now this one was part of the stationary play sets and I have the designer stamp shoe and she's the store girl. So there's a, a plastic set that opens up that has, she has, she comes with several different types of shoes that you can put on the shelves and size. So this is her store and she can change her shoes. Uh, um, you can change your shoes to different uh, type of set of shoes. So that's her. And there's a couple of those that they have. Um, the other thing, I showed you the blush. It's actually a, bl a blush. And then they also have, which I don't have, is a some rock, they're called the rock, rock and lockets. So some of the lockets look crazy. I mean, they have like frizz out hair. The face looks totally different. Um, there is a drum one I've seen, plays music. Uh, there's a drum, a keyboard, and a guitar. And those just look crazy. And they actually play some music. There's only three of those. Um, Italian versions also came out with different ones that have just different type of shapes all together. There's just so many out there. And then the, um, that's okay. So the last thing I'll go over are the dangles. Now I'll go the, into this, the charms that they came out with that was such a huge hit for the eighties was these, these charms that you would get, you get that little necklace and you could attach all these charms, right? I don't know if you remember these. So these are all just different charms of like googly eyes or hearts or baby bottle and stuff like that. Now, is it remembering that now? Well, the Sweet Secrets wanted to jump on that as well. So they made a, uh, about, let's see if I wrote down how many. They made about nine of these, okay? So I don't have the attachment. It probably bro it broke off. So this is the flower doll, and it's a whistle. It's not a real whistle. So it's basically just a charm like they had there. They had several, like a camera, a horse, a few other, you know, nine of those. And so this just opens up. So it's a Sweet Secrets version of a, uh, it's a whistle with a doll. Now there's the doll inside. That's the flower doll. She's got a little flower on her shirt. So again, these are the charms that they were trying to jump on the bandwagon with this, even though they had a lot of their own things going on. So if you put in charm necklaces from the 80s, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, okay. Well, thanks so much for staying tuned. I know this was a long one, but I hope I gave you a lot of fun, uh, nostalgic information and memories. Pull out your sweet secrets that you have. Look for them. Take care of them. The people love them nowadays, and uh, I'm still collecting more. I don't, you know, I plan to keep these for a long time. So, if you like what you see, please uh, subscribe and follow me. And uh, I have a lot more coming. Thanks.